Our ancestors on Earth had reached out across the universe, civilizing, enriching. Jealous terrorists, the League of Free Worlds, spread vile propaganda, sending death squads to crush and slaughter us. Sealing the warp hole, they fled like cowards, leaving us to die. Nine planets, one sun, hunger, poverty, decay. We turned on each other. This was Saul, and we were its prisoners. The urge to survive is strong. But if it hadn't have been for Kron, we would have given up long ago. This was the world I was born into. My name, Mertens. All my life I've lived with civil war. A thief, murderer. Now I'm with Kron. Once our people are united, we, the Navy, will break out of Sol once more. Then we can crush the League. Final clear out of rogue tribes proceeding well. The Navy will soon have control of the Sol system. Warp hole opening will follow. However, sporadic incidents continue to be reported. You are required to provide armed protection to a civilian convoy carrying skilled agricultural workers. Should the convoy be attacked, you must engage and destroy the enemy craft. Attempting uplink communications to Navy operations. Complete. Communications online. Mission objectives. Ensure the civilian convoy reaches its destination safely. You are cleared to take offensive actions against any hostile craft. Objectives understood. Hopefully this will be an easy ride. Scans indicate tribal craft approaching. the 
velocity sight off the main targeting sight to calculate target. Navy battleship to Mertens. Yellow on the targeting HUD indicates shield strength. Red indicates hull strength. Navy battleship to Mertens. Retreat from hostile craft pilot. This one is ours. Hostile jet vessels destroyed. Return to base. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. This attack confirms that tribe members are still attempting to disrupt Navy activities. Their numbers are low, but while they are active, our forces remain at risk from terrorist attacks. Crystal shortages are reported by all Navy fleet production units. Without crystal for power cells, our fleet will suffer irreparable harm. An asteroid field suitable for crystal mining is located in the region. You are required to enter the field and join the mining operation. Use your seismic lance to extract the crystal from the asteroids. When sufficient crystal is mined, an industrial fleet craft will decloak in your vicinity and collect the crystal. Ensure that this craft can execute its task unhindered. Mission objectives. Mine asteroids for sufficient quantities of crystal whilst ensuring the safety of Navy fleet craft. This is Ops. Keep an eye out for the asteroids containing the crystal. This is Ops. Keep aware for any tribe fighters hiding out there. This is Ops. Just keep mining that crystal. We have a fleet craft on route to collect it. Navy fleet craft decloaking.
This is Ops. Well done, you can come back home now. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. The successful protection of the mining operation means that power cell production is continuing at a satisfactory pace. If this level of production continues, the Navy fleet will soon reach the optimum level for a breaching attempt to be made on the Sol System warp hole. Continued ambushes by rogue tribe fighters are disrupting our attempts to initialize the new system battle platform. Power cells must reach the platform unhindered if we are to open the warp hole. Approach damaged Navy cargo vessels in the region and tractor their cargo pods. Transport the pods within range of the battle platform. Once full power levels have been reached, the system warp hole will open. For security reasons, the pods will be cloaked until any enemy presence has been eliminated. This is Ops. Destroy surrounding fighters. Then we'll uncloak the cargo pods. This is Ops. Long range sensors detecting activity in your area. Keep alert. Mission objectives. Tractor any loose cargo pods and transfer all cargo pods to the battle platform. Protect the cargo pods from attack by tribe members. them on my scanner ops. We'll engage. Grapple attached. Grapple released. Help! Grapple attached. Grapple released.
grapple attached. Targeting Navy forces. Grapple released. Grapple attached. Grapple released. This is Ops. Well done, pilot. Let's get that wormhole open. Mission complete. Return to base. Commander Kron confirms completion of our offensive's first phase. All warp hole opening procedures have been executed. This success allows us to assemble our forces and proceed towards the League home system of Galanire. We intend to strike at the heart of their government. They will live to regret their past crimes against our people. Force will carry my reason. As we stared through the warp hole, I heard those words again. Reborn and united under Kron. I swear, the League can never be prepared for what we're about to unleash. Intelligence indicates that League High Command are currently unaware of our presence. As we are heavily outnumbered, it will greatly assist us if we can remain hidden as long as possible. Scout reports show that a League communications rig is currently being constructed in this region. A Sentinel craft is being used to assemble the rig. Target the Sentinel and destroy it before it is able to complete the rig's assembly.
This is Ops. You're on your own for this one, Mertens. Good luck. Mission objectives. Destroy Sentinel and communications rig sections before the rig is assembled. This is Ops. Construction vessel is approaching rig site. This is Ops. Vessel has begun operation. Destroy the craft before construction is complete and communication rig is operable. Continue attack until the source of the energy is eliminated. This is Ops. Recovered league data indicates the possibility of a weak area on the vessel's structure. Locate this area and concentrate all fire onto it. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Navy units currently pushing into Galanair report low-level localized responses only. Our destruction of the League communications rig and their inability to inform High Command of our presence is enabling us to proceed without the full mobilization of the enemy's defense fleets. Commander Kron urges all units to cause maximum disruption before our presence is reported. The League doesn't yet know we're here, but we can't stay hidden forever. As a leader, Kron is formidable. The League's savagery fuels the fire burning within us all. Klein's and Beck's devotion puts mine to shame. Although League Command are unaware of our activities, our planned attack on enemy ground bases will trigger their spy satellites unless disabled first. You are required to target the satellite deployment installation, which maintains a full cloak on all satellites. Once destroyed, the satellites will be revealed. Using a modified version of the leech beam, download a virus to each one to enable our assault to proceed. 
Avoid damaging satellites as this will alert enemy defenses and constitute a failed mission. This is OPS. Destroy the League satellite deployment installation. This will decloak the satellites. Klein to Mertens. I see I've got good backup on this one. Let's get this one over and get out of here. an eye out for those fighters. You have a couple heading in your direction. each satellite and download the virus. They go! Let's get them! This is Ops. Virus download complete. Continue until all satellites are affected.
This is Ops. All League satellites disabled. Navy fleet now approaching. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Commander Kron is very pleased with current progress as Navy units continue to record successful attacks on League installations. The element of surprise is proving valuable. Now the spy satellite network has been disabled, we can prepare to launch an attack on the planet itself. We will also continue to hunt down the League command bases, which must be hidden within Galanair. Reconnaissance scans of the planet bases reveal a super gun capable of severely hindering our progress. However, the required target coordinates are not yet available. Shield generators protect the gun's three power reactors. You must destroy the shield generators before disabling each reactor. Once these are disabled, tag the reactors using your probe pods. The Navy battleship will then calculate the target coordinates and take out the gun. Navy intelligence is relying on your success. Try removing the reactor's source of shield energy before confronting the reactors. Your attempts are futile. Give in now. Pod released. Probe initiated. Probe complete. Navy pilot, prepare for your own destruction. League Supergun has begun powering up. Pod probe initiated. Probe complete. Pod returned.
This is Mer- Shield generators eliminated. This is Merton's. Reactors are also down. How critical. This is Navy Battleship. Congratulations, pilot. Move out of the area. Our successful operation against the League's supergun will leave them in no doubt that they are dealing with a committed force capable of exacting retribution for the years spent imprisoned in Seoul. Unfortunately, it now appears that Galanire is no longer the League's home system. We have been misled by our own intelligence divisions. Commander Kron is extremely angry and has summoned the units responsible to an emergency tribunal. Further action is likely to be taken. The League Command left Galanire long ago, so Kron has redirected us to Cronus. Kron sank to executing the intelligence staff who led us to Galanire. We may have all been criminals once, but this... My friends say it just proves my own weakness. Much of the League's finest raw materials are gathered from within Cronus. We intend to seize resources as we continue the offensive. Scans show an asteroid field containing supplies of ore located in the immediate vicinity. Further surveillance is necessary, but League activity is hampering our progress. Clear the enemy presence to allow mining to begin. Once sufficient ore has been mined, leave the area via the jump gate. Mission objectives. Destroy League presence in asteroid field. Allow sufficient quantities of ore to be mined. Leave the area by a jump gate. Hey, Mertens. Klein here. Let's be careful out here. There are some unusually large asteroids around. Watch out there. Keep an eye on your radar.
Scans indicate League forces entering sector via jump gate. Navy forces, I am the Widowmaker. I shall add your deaths to my list of victories. indicate friendly forces approaching sector. Mertens, this is Bex. I'm homing in on you. Hold on. Mission successful. Required quantities of ore have been mined. I shall return for you, pilot. Although you may want to avenge your friend's death, I shall be waiting. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Every opportunity to boost our raw material resources will be taken as long as military activities allow. The success of this mining operation demonstrates the value of building up our reserves in this way. However, Commander Kron has expressed concern at the weakness of our intelligence gathering processes. It would seem that the League have some very skilled pilots about whom we currently know nothing. Bex didn't seem upset about Klein's death. That's the way it is. Kron is the way forward. I feel guilty. Kron has now ordered attacks on civilian targets. Attempts to build resource stockpiles are currently succeeding, though the League also continues to benefit from Cronus's riches. Navy units are now tracking down enemy mining installations. We aim to cut off their resource supply routes at source. An ore mining installation has been detected. You are required to destroy it. Target the defense turrets initially, then take out the installation itself before the League mobilize a full defense fleet.
This is Ops. Your primary mission objective is to eliminate the League mining installation. Eliminate all hostile forces you encounter. Scans indicate a small defense turrets field guarding the installation. Grapple released. Grapple attached. Grapple released. Merton's to ops. There seems to be a new kind of shield technology around this thing. My weaponry has no effect. Drake to Merton. My intelligence sources fear this new lead technology. Standard weaponry is useless. However, a physical impact is thought to have effect. Long-range scans indicate League backup forces gradually approaching sector. Grapple released. Grapple attached. Grapple released. Grapple attached. Grapple released. Grapple released. Shields destroyed. for further instructions. Mission complete. Opening jump gate.
the League are reportedly anxious not to lose any more mining installations as such defeats are having serious military repercussions. Certain enemy units are already being asked to ration their ammunition. Commander Kron insists that such panic actions will help us take control of Cronus. Disturbances are reported in the region of a vitally important Navy reactor. Data swipes show a high concentration of enemy weaponry and an unidentifiable carrier dedicated to the reactor's destruction. Although reports remain vague, we cannot allow this reactor to be destroyed. It is used to recharge fleet craft and to power surveillance devices. You must destroy all major league rigs used in this assault. Ops to Merkels, we picked up a reading of some form of mechanized insect approaching the reactor. Keep an eye on it and don't let it get too close. We're targeting Navy forces. Initial analysis of the insect shows some sort of heavy duty armoring on its top side. You're targeting Navy forces. Ops to Mertens. Further scans have revealed some form of power unit in its abdomen. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Although the League were not expecting us to break free from Saul and launch this offensive against them, they have clearly invested heavily in some extraordinary defense systems. Commander Kron has again questioned the competence of our intelligence units as they have never reported developments on such a scale. That we were able to protect the reactor is to our credit, though we can only guess at what might be discovered next.
War demands that difficult decisions be made. We now report to the Watch. I've heard Bex works for them. We head for the first colony, Alpha Centauri, a legend, our chance to reclaim it. Our drive into Alpha Centauri is causing ructions amongst League High Command. However, we still require more raw materials if we are to progress rapidly. An asteroid belt has been identified as a source of valuable radion isotopes. You are to protect the civilian mining operation from all enemy assaults. All units, please note, your previous officer has been discharged. You are now directly answerable to the watch. vessel, an unidentified entity has appeared on our scanners. This is Navy mining vessel, it's attacking us, we need help, save us!
you are targeting Navy forces. This is Navy mining vessel. We need help now. We are targeting Navy forces. Targeting Navy forces. This is Ops. The unidentified aggressor has been removed. Mission complete. Return to base. The mining installation is now operating at full capacity, though elements of the civilian population based there are known to be easily agitated. Their support for the Navy is unstable. Loss of the installation could have spread unrest throughout the region's other bases. You did well to prevent this situation arising against unusual opposition. I've been ordered to enroll in the watch. Refusal is not an option. I've already heard of uh, suicides. The watch always seems to be there when it happens. Now I'm reporting on my own friends. It shames me. Navy secrets are finding their way into enemy possession. However, an informer database is maintained by the League. We are currently engineering a minor struggle in which you must damage an enemy battleship, forcing it to flee the area. Attach yourself to it as it leaves. Once beyond the jump gate, approach the enemy installation being aware that its security systems are sound sensitive and will be triggered by prolonged engine noise. When close enough, probe the mainframe and download the list of informers. Escape when ready via jump gate. Probe installation and eliminate all enemy agents that reveal themselves.
watch announcement. Welcome to the watch. Ensure you attach your ship to the League battleship in order to avoid detection. It is imperative that you do not destroy the League battleship if this needs to be successful. Synchronizing ship computer to watch central operations. Full duplex connection successful. Through the jump room, avoid security systems and recover traitor listings from the League installation. Shields destroyed. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Mission objectives. Download informer list from enemy installation. Escape via jump gate. Probe installation and eliminate enemy agents. released. Probe initiated. Probe complete. Pod returned. Watch announcement. Traitor location is now known. A jump gate to the traitor sector will now be opened. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Watch announcement. We believe an enemy agent to be at this installation. Eliminate this agent, but do not destroy the installation.
Pod released. Probe initiated. Probe complete. Pod return. Mission successful. Traitor list retrieved and spy eliminated. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. The list of informers you managed to retrieve makes for interesting reading. The Watch is committed to ridding the Navy of all opposition within its ranks. This information will allow us to continue purging the organization of dissent. Without the Navy, our struggle for justice would never have begun. Only traitors could wish to oppose the Navy now. The removal of known informers from Navy ranks is continuing across all fleets. You are required to approach the civilian convoy in this sector and provoke treacherous elements into making themselves known. Once threatened with discovery, they will no doubt attempt to escape. You should, of course, eliminate all the traitors you uncover. Be aware that innocent Navy members may misread your actions and attempt to engage you in combat. You must avoid their fire, but they are not to be harmed. Mission objectives. Probe convoy and uncover traitors. Eliminate once uncovered. Watch announcement. Ensure that all vessels are probed for traitors. Pod released. Probe initiated. Probe complete. Pod returned. Pod released. Probe initiated. Probe complete. Watchmen, do not let the traitors escape. Destroy at all costs. released. Probe initiated. Probe complete. Pod returned. Pod released. Probe initiated. Probe complete. Pod returned. Pod released. Probe initiated. Probe complete. They're breaking away. Engaging. Pod returned.
pod release. Probe initiated. Probe complete. Pod returned. Pod released. Probe initiated. Probe complete. Pod returned. Mission objectives completed. To all members of the Navy, this is your leader, Kron. Intelligence sources have revealed that Watch Leader Bex is passing information to our mortal enemy. All Navy fleet to seek and destroy Bex and her wingmen immediately. Communication closed. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Watch leader Bex. Martins to Navy Fleet. Watch Leader Bex has been eliminated. Well done, my subject. You have served your leader well. You will be rewarded when the conflict is complete. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. A breakdown in communication has occurred within the watch. This organization is no longer involved in taking Navy policy decisions. Commander Kron is directing all Navy resources to an assault on the Boreas system. Intelligence units confirm that Boreas is the new home of the League's high command. Strong resistance can be expected. The great name of Alpha Centauri is reclaimed for the Navy, taking us nearer to the League's heart. So close to Boreas. There can be no disloyalty until victory. 
Even the corrupt must be obeyed. All assault forces are now on course for Boreas. The League is expecting us to make an attempt on their new home system. Intelligence units report a significant enemy presence around our chosen entry point. Join the assault and ensure the spearhead battleships safe passage as they enter Boreas. Concentrate on enemy fighters before attending to any further vessels sent by the League. This is Ops. There are strange unidentified readings in your area. There is to be no celebration now that we have entered Boreas. There are much more difficult tasks to come. This is where the League houses its highest commanders and its darkest secrets. We are here to destroy. It is to be hoped that the Sentinel has given you an indication of the extent of the task ahead.
We've broken into Boreas, but Kron's viciousness alienates the Navy. With each success, he takes more extreme measures against our own. Itel says there are jamming signals of unknown origin in this system. We fight on. There are strong jamming signals within this system, though intelligence suggests these are incompatible with known League technology. Despite this, we must consolidate our strong position in Boreas. A Navy battleship is on course to strike against a vital League installation. You must defeat a group of League fighters blocking a jump gate, then join the group of fighters supporting the assault. Ensure the safety of the battleship. Mission objectives. Eliminate League fighters to trigger jump gate. Transfer via jump gate and ensure safety of Navy battleship attacking League installation. Navy forces. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Scans indicate unknown presence within this sector. This is Navy battleship to unknown force. Please identify yourselves.
Mission complete. Opening jump gate. The threatened battleship is safe, although we are clearly facing another aggressive force in this system. Early intelligence reports suggest that we are operating within a territorial zone claimed by another race. Our conflict with the League has alerted this race to our presence. We believe they intend to drive both League and Navy from Boreas. Commander Kron has urged personnel not to be diverted from the struggle against the League. Data on the alien threat is severely lacking. We urgently require some of their hardware for research purposes. A number of enemy battleships have docked at a processing plant for refueling. You must transfer, via jump gate, to the appropriate sector where an auto cloaker will allow you to approach the craft. Firing weapons when cloaked will lead to your detection. Use your leech beam to link to a battleship's computer. You must then use remote control to fly a fighter out of a jump gate. Mission objectives. Link to an alien battleship using your leech beam. Use remote control to fly alien fighters safely towards the jump gate and escape. You are targeting Navy forces. Targeting Navy forces. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Auto cloaker engaged. Proceed with caution. Drake to Mertens. This ship will be invaluable in our attempts to defeat the alien presence. Intelligence Corps thanks you. Mertens, I'm gonna make a run for it.
Alien fighter has been captured. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Research units have stripped down the enemy fighter and are currently conducting tests. Although the results will assist us, it has become clear that our only hope for survival lies in combining forces with the League. The alternative is destruction for us both. Approaches are now being made to League High Command, though Commander Kron does not accept this situation. We intend to proceed without him. His influence waning, Kron's propaganda grows more pathetic. Battle-hardened Navy units make their own decisions, fighting alongside fresh leaguers. Kron has nothing to tell us anymore. He's finished. Our immediate target is the alien force's weblock. Its destruction would leave their main force unable to enter Boreas. You must transfer to the appropriate sector via a jump gate. You will then be required to eliminate the weblock's defense forces before destroying the lock itself. Be aware that its security code will need to be broken before it can be destroyed. Mission objectives. Transfer to sector using jump gate. Eliminate alien defense forces and break weblock security code to destroy them. Jump gate opening in immediate vicinity. Mission complete. Opening jump gate.
New alien Translating communications. Translation system initiated. I shall enjoy this battle. You shall perish for violating our systems. You have a talent. Your strategies are, however, feeble. Mission successful. Alien weblock has been destroyed. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. The sealing of the warp hole has removed the alien threat. All units are to be congratulated. Diplomatic initiatives have produced a draft treaty with the League due to be ratified shortly. Navy Command recommend that this treaty is honored by all units. However, Commander Kron insists the struggle against the League should be a fight to the death. You will be informed of any further developments. The Navy and the League are no longer at war. Kron, however, intends to fight on. He has reinstated the Watch, though only a few of his most fanatical followers remain loyal. They plan to fire a supergun at the Sun to destroy the entire system. You must transfer via jump gate, leech the gun's location from his battleship, then transfer to that location and destroy the gun before it fires. This is Navy operations. We must stop Kron before he destroys us all. Transferring mission objectives to your ship computer. Downloading mission objectives. Download complete. Transfer via jump gate and leech supergun location from Kron's battleship. Transfer to gun location and destroy. released. returned. Mission complete. Opening jump gate.
super gun will fire in one minute. Thirty seconds. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Kron's failure to destroy Boreas has left him enraged. His whereabouts are currently unknown, though both Navy and League intelligence are working to track him down. He remains extremely dangerous. He is committed to destroying the League and all those he regards as traitors. Kron has been sighted attempting to leave the Boreas system in his personal command craft. A small personal guard and fleet remains with him. You are required to pursue Kron and eliminate him. This is Navy operations. All units are required to intercept and destroy Kron and his escort. We have all been pawns in Kron's scheme of vengeance. He must not be allowed to survive. Scans indicate heavy armaments on board target craft. Proceed with caution. Scans indicate target has left system via jump gate. Mission complete. Opening jump gate. Don't make me kill you. Join me, and we can finish the deal for good. You betrayed us all, Kron. You used us for your own plans. Kron to Mertens. Believe me, I had no choice. I was a pawn in the League's strategy. They left me to rot.
shields destroyed. Kron's death has been verified. Navy Command can therefore confirm the official cessation of all hostilities. Your actions are to be congratulated. Peace is your reward. No further briefings will follow. He's dead. Kron, my leader. I killed him. No regrets. Everything I believed in has been proven a lie. The League tells me that Kron was once one of them. He was deemed unstable and twisted. A liability. The Father arranged for him to be sent on the final mission against our ancestors, expecting him to die. All that Kron did to unite and resurrect Sol had been for one purpose, and one purpose alone, kill the father. We were never a force for freedom. Now he is dead. It seems we may have found freedom after all.